Hey everyone, so just a quick check-in. It's been almost two weeks since I posted a video. Just been crazy busy. Um, I always say that crazy busy, but yeah, I've been working working every night of the week late. This weekend, I've actually got episode 42 coming up of Being a Lineman, working on that now. This is just uh, so you guys can kind of see what it's like, all the, the edits as we scroll through there. I gotta still put in a ton of audio, but that's going to be episode 42. Maybe just give you guys a little sneak peek at what's coming up with that. This, uh, oh, that's not the shot. Stand by. There we go. So that's the broken pole we had the other night. You can see it's a gang switch pole. Plow caught that, doubled dead end. Steel drive pipe for the gang switch. It was a pretty nasty job. So that's just what I'm working on editing there now. I'm actually gonna shut it down for the night. I started at, uh, woke up at five o'clock this morning. Gonna put my feet up and watch a movie. But I do wanna show you guys the wire I've got in the back of my pickup truck here. I'm, I'm not in my area, I'm close to the head office. I got some meetings there tomorrow. But I want to show you guys this wire. I, I threw it in the back of this pickup truck. So what the story is, and we get this a lot. You're supposed to pull a permit whenever you do an upgrade to the electrical entrance in your home. Depending on what it is, I mean, people add mini split heat pumps all the time without pulling permits. But part of the reason for the permit is that goes through the province and then passes through our companies to advise of the load change. A lot of times the house will have a 100 amp entrance that had oil heat. An electrician will come by and say, ah, there's room in the panel, or they'll put a pony panel and start adding more and more and more load. I don't want to show any of the clips of the house because uh, it's, it's a sensitive situation with the house I was at. Uh, so the, the electrician, very good electrician actually, added a whole lot of load to this guy's house with the intentions of pulling a permit and upgrading to a 200 amp entrance at a later date. And unfortunately he passed away before he was able to do that. So the homeowner figured everything was done enough-ish, never did get the upgrade, but he had large house, large garage, added some electric heat, added some heat pumps, had all kinds of stuff going on. And he was still fed off of some number four ACSR with all that extra load. Let's see if I can get the flashlight to work here on this camera. Take a look at this. Come on, flashlight. Well, apparently it doesn't want to work. We'll yank this out. The light. So this is the service loop that we pull off the guy's house. And we can see the number four ACSR started heating up initially at the connections. The connection was still good, but the connection's gonna be a weak point in the wire, especially when you go from copper to aluminum. But it heated up so bad that it actually melted the wire right to the neutral. The entire span, you can see here real good, looks like, a, looks like candle wax. Eventually, it did short out right here so you can see some shiny spots right there and it blew the neutral wire completely apart as we go through the span the entire thing heated up it's even stuck together so had that electrician contacted us first before doing that work there's there's no way we would have allowed for a wire of that size to remain on the home during the upgrades so what we did we had to replace that wire that same night obviously but with the work that was done inside we did ask the homeowner to bring an electrician on site to do an inspection the electrician did go inside the home and inspect everything the 200 amp panel was fed off of number eight copper wire tucked into the load side of the 100 amp breaker. 
feeding a 200 amp panel. It was, it was not a good setup. So the electrician disconnected that and gave us an emergency wiring permit to come back up, just the 100 amp panel. And the customer actually called in the next day to begin the process for a full upgrade using the same electrician. He will be getting 200 amp mast, all new wire. While we were there, we ran the one aught triplex over to the home. So, geez, five minutes already. I said this is gonna be a quick one. I'll let you guys go. I'm gonna have this video finished up by this weekend for sure. Maybe tomorrow night, but we'll have it up here in the next couple days. Be safe guys, thanks for stopping in.